Good evening, Wrightsville. We are the Midget family. I'm Laura Midget. This is Parker Midget. And I'm John Midget. And we are reading a devotion tonight from the book, Live in Grace, Walk in Love by Bob Goff. We're reading 142. There's a lot to be concerned about. There's, a, there's more to be hopeful for. The scripture tonight is John 18, 36. Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jewish leaders. But now my kingdom is from another place. Bob writes, I don't watch a lot of TV. I think the real world is way more interesting. But because I have several friends who work for the U.S. government, and I serve as an honorary consul for the Republic of Uganda, Uganda to the U.S., I need to stay up on things. I'll be honest, though. Watching the news can be a real grind. It can make a person think everything is doom and gloom and that nothing good happens ever. I guess that's good for ratings, but the sad truth is, throughout the world, every day, something devastating is happening. A country overrun by war, a community crushed by a mass shooting, a person targeted for a hate crime. Still, I believe God is at work to put an end to this suffering. Sure, there's a lot to be concerned about, but we have even more reasons to be hopeful. Here's why. Jesus said his kingdom wasn't of this world. He said evil would win for a while, but that his kingdom of love would have the last word. And he said those of us who follow him and will be the ones who are laying the groundwork for his return. We'll be the runners who sprint ahead with the good news of what's coming. Don't believe the people who tell you there's no hope. It's everywhere. It's like the smell in the air right before the rains come. We have hope because we trust in God, in the God who sits above every conflict. We bring hope when we choose to fix our eyes on Jesus rather than on all the distractions around us. Next time you hear bad news, ask yourself how you can be hope in the midst of it. And the question for tonight, what are you feeling or what are you feeling hopeless about and how will you bring that to God? What are you feeling hopeless about? Um, uh, Parker. Uh, about uh, about children for a cupcake for Granny to take in and then rightful I made some cupcakes. Yes, right. So we've been making cupcakes. We can't wait to see everybody again. We hope everyone is well. And good night. <laughs> good night. Find something to be hopeful for. Are we done? Yeah, good night.